Hello and welcome again to the uh, video number two of uh, using Visual Studio. Uh, this is going to be another short video tutorial and in, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use Master Pages because um, I think Master Pages is a very very important um, thing to learn. So I'm going to start by clicking on the, the website that we created the last time which I named Sample Website. So. Uh, well, just like I said before, I'm using <laughs> Vista operating system, so you can expect it to be a little bit slow. Oh man, it's not even clicking. Okay, now, here we go. Right, let me close this start page. And, um, had, um, okay, to add a master page, master page is a template, it's like a uh, template that you develop for all the web pages on your website to use I mean you don't have to understand what I just said I will show you how to use it because it's really important once you understand the concept so right click on the project the project which is the website project just right click on it and click on add new item so there's going to be a pop-up window like this and at the top you know it's out is um, all the same I'm trying to check if these things are arranged alphabetically and they're not. So just look for master page. It's at the top in the middle. So uh, leave the default name, which is master page dot master. And there's a checkbox here which says select master page because we don't have uh, any existing master page. So there's no way we can select a master page. But uh, when Visual Studio 2008 was created, you know, this is another feature that was that was added to it. It's possible to have a nested, nested master page. You can have a master page inheriting from a previous master page, so which is really cool. That means you can have two look and feel for your website. You can have a special website maybe for members that are not registered on your website and they have uh, a certain you know layout and people that aren't registered they have a certain you know so you can do a lot of cool stuff with this so uh, because we don't have any previous master page so we're not going to check this mark we're just going to click on add so in a minute it should come up so this is your master page you can go to the design mode and um, do some cool stuff I'm not going to go too much into uh, I'm just going to show you something really simple so now we have uh, you always get, you're going to have a content place order this content place order is where the content will go for the rest of the page well you don't have to understand it but I'll show you what I normally do is uh, select this content place order delete it right he said if you remove this region you break any attached pages that provide con stump content for it but we, since we don't have any pages at the moment so it's cool we can just say do you want to continue yes I want to delay because I want to start from the beginning right now I'm going to add a table inside the div tag let me show you the source so you can see what's going on you know that's the body and there's a form run at server yeah which is this must always be included for any ASP.NET uh, server control I'll be talking more about server control in the future so um, this is where we actually place in our content now inside this div tag so let's go back to the design mode if I had a table let's add a table which is um, 3 by 3 yeah normally that's what most people use to create a template 3 by 3 so you see geez, you, you get what I'm trying to do here so this is gonna be our header and the middle where the content go probably the navigation goes there right and uh, that's the footer so let's merge you know you can just select the three of this and right click on it see merge cells modify merge cells can you see that so now that's we've got the header right there and the bottom uh, this is not the best way to create a layer for your website but you know I'm just showing you something real quick you need to learn CSS um, I, right, my cell. So that's the foot. This is the footer. Uh, let me make the color of this area to be background color. Can you see the property down here? Right. So background color. Let's make that that color. Right. That's the header. Let's make the background color for the 
add uh, let's make a same color right make a same color right this is the content area if you want you can match this to cell you can this can be another area let no, I'm just doing something just to show you how it's done right another cool color right so um, this or no I'm not going to type anything because I'm doing the the template for the old website so inside this place let's modify the property right style that's the style of this right, let me begin let me start again this table data can you see at the bottom here you can actually select each individual item if I select somewhere else you see the highlighting will change because what happened is I'm selecting this table and I can modify its uh, style from here you know the cascading style shape what I want to do I want to uh, the box uh, what is it, the, the position box, but, uh, because I didn't I don't create any script for this video I do so um, I might have a little problem you know going around but anyway let me continue with what I'm trying to do so now that we have this is the main area where content is going to go for all our pages what I want to do is now you can drag the content plane. remember we deleted it in the beginning so now we can add another one you can just drag it drag and drop it here so that means for every other pages that we create this is where our content is going to go so if you want to create any custom content you create a content place order for the content that you want to create so you don't have to understand that so what happened now because we already got a default.aspx which is like our home page which doesn't inherit from this uh, master page so what happened is uh, uh, it doesn't it, it's not going to use the master page so for us to do that we have to delete this one and create another default.aspx so I'm going to delete it now once I delete today I'm going to create another page so this is how you create another page you say right click on the project click on add item and it's going to be web form web form enough so leave it as default the ASPS the first page is always default the ASPX so now you have to select master page right okay once you select master page hard it's going to, to ask you which master page you want to use remember I said you can have multiple so you can select this one the master page and click OK and um, that's it so now this is your default ASPX so if I go to the design view you see can you see that uh, my cursor has turned to like a no typing area that means I cannot type anywhere the only place I can type is inside this custom content so I can say this is the first page of the website right so if you want we can let's add another page second page I say had new item web form remember rename this to uh, page 2 page 2 dot ASPX do not forget to uh, take select master page click on had you see then it's gonna ask you which master page click on OK if you go to the design design view you can you can modify this is the second page right so that's it so now let's test our website by pressing the play button can you see the play button at the top that's how you run the website so click on it and um, we should see our website live okay speed up so this is the art uh, because I selected so if I go to default.aspx which is the default page default.aspx see this is the first page of the website and the other one was the second page this is the footer I forgot to name the header so that's just a simple way to create a template um, I'm still going to mod I don't want this video to be too long because some YouTube doesn't allow to some you know upload one is more than 10 minutes I'm going to stop the video now and I'm going to continue on how to actually create a navigation so we can navigate from one page to another and modify this uh, uh, page further. Thank you.